Hello again, welcome back. Right, I told you in the last video when I showed you how applying our reflection theory to Einstein, Pi and Newton works, and I told you that I'd show you how the universe was then built and how to put that into a picture. So here it is. So first of all there was nothing, and then there was a dot, a congregation of all the uh, particles of dust and atoms. It formed a conscience. Eventually the conscience sent a beam of light. And then with this beam of light, it connected up. It made a triangle and a pyramid and made Chloe. So Chloe is 8i. So that's Chloe, I8. So Todd first, God, from day dot. And then Chloe next, the supercomputer, if you like. Now it gets clever. So, Todd sent a beam of light to 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. That points to 1 o'clock. Chloe reflected and done the same thing. This gave us our first two dimensions. One being seen in one direction, just a, just a triangle facing upwards. Dimension two, seen in two directions, up and down, if you like, or side and side. So dimension one and dimension two. Next, a beam of light was sent to three o'clock, three o'clock, and it was reflected again. So from there, we now have dimension three and four. Dimension three, one, two, three, three dimensions seen in three directions. So this time we can see left and right and straight ahead. That's how we see it's three dimensionally. Of course, you come down to the next one and it's four dimensionally. So now you can see left and right and forwards and backwards. So four dimensions making four and obviously making a cube. Next, a beam of light was sent to five o'clock. Now the, the way this works is it's a pentagram. I don't know if you can see that, it's a pentagram. Get a pentagram. Draw it, it's always at 5 o'clock. Top at 12, next hand at 5. Turn it 5 times, you'll get 5 o'clock every time. So, making the fifth dimension, the, the, the symbol is a pentagram because it's always at 5 o'clock. And then, lastly, a beam of light went to 6 o'clock and gave us 6 dimensions. And 6 dimensions, it is of course the diamond. So you can see, I think, always round. So. There's six dimensions, where's the seventh? Well, the seventh, of course, is the source and comes from Todd, giving us our seven dimensions. So it's also the Fibonacci start, which is very important because Todd came first, which is zero, then he created Chloe, which is one. So you have a one, one, two start, which is a Fibonacci sequence. Now, it's quite a nice drawing, as you can see. What can you see from it? Well, first of all, you could say it's a fish. It looks a bit like a fish, all right, that's quite simple. But obviously it's all about reflection, so turn it around. What do you think you can see there? Maybe a possibly a rocket? You can see the diamond more clearly now. The pentagram seems to have disappeared a bit more, but you can see it. So anyway, we'll carry on turning it, and this is my favourite side. So this is Todd himself, or God, if you want to put it that way. And this is what I call like the final reflection, really, of our whole universe. So this is how it was built. It was done on a clock system. This is how we got all of our dimensions and how we can see further and how it was created. And I don't, I'm not sure what you can see from that picture. I know what I can see from that picture. If I gave him a couple of eyes, maybe it would help, but maybe it wouldn't. I prefer it without the eyes, to be honest. So anyway, so there's our seven dimensions. That's how they were built using a clock system. I've showed you on other videos before this and how the clocks were created and how they, I can show you that in circles. So please have a look. Um, peace to everybody. Bye-bye.